There's so many things that set Trey apart from most guitarists, but this one thing in particular he does so well. Trey uses extreme dynamics. It's kind of like water. Waves can rise up, so can the tide, and sometimes the tide's real low and it can kind of sound like this. <laughs> You can actually see the volume of the track rising and falling. Without these changes, music would be a little bit boring. And keep in mind, it's not just Trey that's doing this, but the band works as a unit to create tight, dynamic changes. And sometimes Fishman might do a big fill that's going to signal an abrupt change to the rest of the band. So let's check out an example that's kind of like whitewater rafting. <laughs> Sometimes the changes happen organically or they're planned like at the end of a jam where it sounds like a dam abruptly just stops all the water and other times it's a little bit of both. But before we listen to an example of a jam using many types of dynamics, let's listen to another one using even more extreme changes in rapids. Now why does Trey bother using dynamics so much and what would utilizing more of it in your own playing do for you? Well, it can just wake the listener up, but the quiet can draw you in closer. And then the loud can just be really, really exciting. But above all, it just creates some contrast, which is just 
more interesting, you know? We're all about trying to make music less boring. So let's hear an example of a jam that utilizes all different types of dynamics. Exactly how Trey achieves these dynamics using specific tactics is a story for another time. But you want to know what? Adding dynamics to your playing is great and all, but there's so much more we can learn from Trey. So that's why you should check out this video here because I go over so much more of what any guitarist can learn from Trey.